Hi everyone and welcome back to Kay's Kitchen. My name is Khadija and today I will be showing you how to marinate your chicken. Uh, and this particular um, style and taste of chicken is suitable for paninis, for wraps and toasties and even just to have with chips. Um, I did mention that I will be uploading a video which will be a really quick and easy recipe for all the moms out there in the holidays, school holidays, where they can just put everything together and really make a, a nice lunch out of it. So if you'd like to know how, then keep watching. And I will be showing you in the next step what all the ingredients are. Okay, so for the ingredients that you will need for your chicken is a, a medium-sized red onion, thinly sliced. You need one small green pepper, also sliced. Two chicken breasts I have here, cut into small pieces. I've chosen to have a panini bread, but you can always go for whatever it is you like, whether it's uh, tortilla wraps, normal uh, bread, like toasted bread or panini. And here we have half a teaspoon of um, cumin. We have a tablespoon of red chili sauce. You could pick any red chili sauce if you like. If you do not want any kind of spice in there, that's fine. You don't have to add this. Uh, this is half a teaspoon of black pepper. That's half a teaspoon of paprika. That is a tablespoon of black soy sauce, half a teaspoon of salt, and this is half a teaspoon of uh, garlic powder. If you don't have powder, you can use paste. Uh, try to avoid the actual garlic clove itself. Uh, so either powder or paste you can use. And this is half a teaspoon of ginger powder. So these are all the ingredients that you need. And now I will show you how to put all of this together. So I'm going to just put the red onion and green pepper on one side. This is really quick and simple. This is the best thing about this particular recipe. All you're going to do is just pour everything in. So this is your garlic, half a teaspoon of garlic, half a teaspoon of ginger, half a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of soy sauce, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of paprika, the chili sauce, half a teaspoon of that, and half a teaspoon of cumin. And all you're going to do now is just mix all of this together. Make sure it's nice and mixed. So because the chicken is already um, in small pieces anyway, uh, this won't take long to cook at all in the pan, which I will show you. It will literally be under 15 minutes. So this is how the chicken will look once all the ingredients are mixed into it. So guys, I've placed this size pan on a really, really low heat. And I'm just going to pour about two tablespoons of oil, really, really small amount. Just going to cover the pan with it. And what we are going to do is place the chicken that has been marinated into the pan. I'm just going to get the remainder sauce that's left in the bowl. 
into the pan. And I'm just going to turn the heat up slightly. Let's give it a nice stir. Just so it's spread out nicely in the pan. So I've placed the lid on, on top of the pan and we are going to leave this for 15 minutes on low heat and we'll come back to that. So guys, it's been uh, 15 minutes. I'm just going to take the lid off and you see that the chicken is actually cooked. So what we will do now is take the chicken out of the pan into this bowl here. So here is the chicken in uh, the bowl and here is the pan. We're not going to start washing the pan uh, to add the onions and peppers in. We are literally just going to throw in the onions in the same pan and we are going to throw in the green peppers as well. And I'm just going to put the heat up, just caramelize this. And this again, um, like the lamb chops I made, uh, so this basically, just like the lamb chops I made last week, this is again uh, here for the flavours, the red onions and the green peppers. You don't have to add um, the green peppers if you don't want to, but the onions would definitely add that extra bit of flavour and it's definitely, definitely worth it. Um, with the chicken that we've made, you know, having that in your toasty, having that in your panini, do your wrap. Uh, even if you guys, if anybody is even on like a diet and they just want to have chicken with salad, this is great. As you saw all the ingredients that I added in, there was just like barely any kind of uh, fat, you know, uh, any kind of heavy oil in there. It's literally two tablespoons of oil, so that is all really you need. So just back to the chicken while the onion is frying so you can see that it's it's cooked. But what I'm going to do is I'm, I am going to actually just chop it up into uh, even more smaller pieces just so that when they go into the panini, um, not, necessarily, not necessarily everybody likes a chunky bit in the mouth of chicken or meat. So because children are going to have this they are so busy and they just want to get up and play they don't want to sit around the table ages chewing they want quick and easy food so what I'm going to do is just literally slice it up so it's kind of looking like if it's shredded uh, so that'll be quite nice in the paninis or wraps or anything that you use it in okay so this is how the chicken looks now I've just cut it into even more smaller pieces so they literally are just really thin so guys it smells really nice with onions and the pepper being caramelized a little bit in the kitchen so what i'm going to do now is bring the chicken that i have cut into even smaller pieces now into the pan So once I've put the chicken back into the pan, just so that the flavours of the onion and the green pepper mix in with the chicken, we're just going to give it five, five minutes uh, in the pan to cook and then we will take this off the heat. So the chicken is cooked, it's ready to go into the panini and what I, I have done is just slice through uh, this panini to show you what I will be doing next. So here. I've got like half a teaspoon of ketchup and half a teaspoon of mayo. Now you don't have to have these sauces, you can pick which, whichever sauce you like. So whether it's, uh, you know, peri sauce or just a hot spicy sauce or just mayo, whatever it is, you can have that. Uh, but I am going to go for the mayo 
and I'm just going to spread that. Now I have some cheese slices, you can add whatever kind of cheese you like, it could be mozzarella or just your normal cheese that you have in, in your fridge. And then what I'm going to do is with the same teaspoon, I'm just going to add a bit of ketchup, just a little bit. This is what I like in mine, so yeah, this is what I'm going to add. So I've switched my uh, grill on and I'm just going to leave it for a couple of minutes to warm up and then what I would do is place the panini onto the grill, let it grill so that the cheese melts, everything mixes in together with the sauce and then I will cut it open and show you how it looks from inside. So we're just going to leave that in there for about three to four minutes. So guys, I've taken the uh, panini out of the George Foreman grill and cut it in half just so that you can see how it looks from the inside. And this is how it is. The cheese has melted and everything else is combined together. It smells really, really nice. But this is a really quick and easy recipe, guys, as you saw. Literally, I poured in all the ingredients into um, uh, with the chicken, mixed it all up, put it in the pan, uh, put some onions in there, put some peppers in there and it was done and literally this is it. So it took me about 35 minutes all in all uh, to make this. It so this is how you make a quick and simple meal um, in the school holidays or any other time where you don't have hours and hours to spend in the kitchen. It's really simple, really delicious and really easy. I hope you all enjoyed uh, watching this video. Um, if you do decide to make it, you can always tag me in on my Instagram, which is kskitchens07. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell button. That will always give you a reminder of any new recipes that I upload. Um, also, don't forget to click the like button and leave a comment below. And I will see you soon, inshallah, next week with a brand new recipe. Allah Hafiz.